Pigs. I'm Addison. And I'm Anna. We're here at Giza Field after a series of unfortunate events transpired. After a host of missed tackles, multiple turnovers, and pivotal missed opportunities, U of A took down Wazoo after Wazoo racked up their first home loss of the season. In the first drive to start the game, Cam Ward led the WSU offense into University of Arizona territory, setting up senior Nakia Watson's one-yard rushing touchdown. WSU started off aggressive with a John Matier's failed pass on a two-point conversion, giving the Cougs a six-point lead to start the first quarter. Arizona responded with an explosive play to open receiver Jonah Coleman, who ran down 69 yards into the red zone to which he was tackled short on the one-yard line. Coleman followed through and ran the ball in for a wildcat touchdown. Unlike WSU, Arizona opted for a successful PAT. Arizona showed their bear down motto and showcased dominance by forcing a quick four and out and getting possession near the Cougars 30 yard line. You tried to respond with the stop and gave the Wildcats a run for their money, forcing them to settle for a 37 yard field goal, which was easily made, giving Arizona a 10-6 lead. With less than two minutes in the first quarter, WSU continued to be aggressive and tried a clever trick play. Cam Ward threw a backwards lateral pass to backup quarterback John Matier who scrambled and threw into a sea of defenders and was intercepted by Arizona's sophomore cornerback, Ephesians Prysock. After multiple missed tackles, the WSU defense was left in awe after sophomore St. John Bosco alum, Rashawn Speedy Luke, ran 40 yards for another Arizona touchdown to start the second quarter and widen their lead 17-6. On the next drive, WSU's quarterback, Cam Ward faced heavy pressure in the pocket and was unable to scramble and escape Arizona's defense. After a quick WSU possession, the ball found its way back in the hands of the Wildcats, which was a common theme for most of the game. The Arizona running backs consistently could not be stopped by the WSU defense, picking up critical first downs. Midway through the second quarter, the WSU defense made a crucial stop and Arizona settled for another field goal, making it 20-6 and building on their lead. With some time left in the first half, the Cam Ward to Josh Kelly pass and catch threat along with the other go-to receivers was non-existent against the Wildcats defense. Possibly Kelly's injury from the previous week had an influence. The WSU defense did not look much better as they were unable to read the Wildcats pass plays and stop their explosive run game. With just 2 minutes 18 seconds to go in the first half, the Cougs forced an Arizona punt, looking like they may be gaining some momentum. The Coug offense took the field at their own 9-yard line and was unable to execute an efficient 2-minute drill and score before the half. Arizona gained possession on the last possession of the first half, reminding us of Groundhog's Day. The Cougs go into the locker room down at halftime 6-20, to a new concept for the Cougars' morale. Arizona received the ball to start the second half and charged on the field just like the first half. Arizona kicker Tyler Loop received lots of action with his second made field goal and keeping the momentum going. WSU had a series of failed drives in the third quarter and continued for most of the second half. Ward threw an interception early in the third quarter, which later resulted in another Wildcat touchdown. It was unfortunately our turnovers that translated to Arizona touchdowns all night long at Giza Field. Everything went wrong for the Cougs and everything went right for the Wildcats. Bay's defense held to a tight pass and run coverage, making it nearly impossible for Ward to make any completions, forcing him to run and use his speed. However, to the end of the third quarter, another turnover ensued with Ward fumbling the ball on a scramble, another missed opportunity. With some time left in the third quarter and WSU behind 6-30, the team gained momentum after a defensive sack to force an Arizona punt. But was it too late? Unfortunately, yes. It was a field day for Wildcat running back Jonah Coleman who scored three touchdowns, possibly some confidence that was carried over from their near win against USC the prior week. The Cougs seemed to lose steam and were held scoreless in the fourth quarter. Down by four scores to start the fourth quarter, the WSU offense was not able to execute the typical big catches and put points on the board. Overall, the Cougs risk losing their top 25 ranking in a shocking 44-6 loss to a University of Arizona team that is trending in the other direction. 
WSU looks to get back on track and will look to rebound on a road matchup in Eugene against a highly motivated University of Oregon. The Ducks look to revenge their recent loss to WSU rival, the University of Washington. After today's depressing loss, the Cougars will fall to 4-2. Hopefully a comeback is in order as the Cougars are on the road for the next two weekends. They will play Oregon next weekend and ASU the following. Join us November 4th as Wazoo takes on Stanford for Parents Weekend. For more Cougar sports updates, follow us at Cable 8 on YouTube, at Wazoo Sports Network on Instagram and TikTok, and Wazoo Sports Net on Twitter. Thank you.